Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creekbox TV. Good evening. I'm Alan Henley. We're live here at Creek Box with Sports Talk, and I got my one of my good buddies, uh, Winston Peterson. He's the athletic director at Clinch County High School. He's also the defensive coordinator for the football team. Winston, we appreciate you taking appreciate the time. Appreciate you having us out. Man, and uh, had a big, exciting game last week in Tail Fair. And, uh, yep. We did. I mean, it was, uh, yeah, you know, like we thought going into it, it was going to be a hard-fought game. Uh, Tail Fair's got a great team. Uh, that the quarterback that they Man. have. You know, we were sitting there watching to get the quarterback. If you had four or five of them on your team, you, you wouldn't lose a game. Yeah, that, that's the kind of guy that you you look for as a, as a coach. I mean, he he got hit, got right back up. Man, uh, and he'll hard. run over you. Yeah, he did. He 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 run hard. One of the fans texted in to me and Tom during the uh, the game and said, you know, he's the starting – He's the starting pitcher and shortstop if he's not mm -hmm. playing, you know, pitching. And he was state runner-up last in year in wrestling. Yep, he was. So, uh, And so he can squat 500 pounds. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. I, but, I, I mean, I you could tell. He was, once yeah. they said that, I said, well, I believe it. Yeah. Because <laughs> he was running that That's ball right. hard. And, 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 and looking at him, you you know, you, you don't expect that much power looking at him. He's no. not like a – No. Wasn't like a, you know, a physical specimen or anything like that. He's just a normal-looking kid and then – when he when he touched the ball, he kind of he uh, he he'd run over you. And man could throw it on a dime. Yeah, uh, they he, they threw what what we used to call them as defense, the little S routes to squat down. Mm -hmm. And man, they dropped several of them that they should have caught. They uh, did. It wasn't on his phone. He threw a pretty pass. Yeah, he uh, did. They, like I say, he did a good job, and, and you know they made it in the playoffs. So. Uh, yeah, they had 299 total yards. Yeah. That's one of the – that's the most we've give up, I think, all year yeah, to any so. team. And like uh, I said, they, 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 had a, they had a great screen, scheme against us, and uh, and they're going to make some noise in the playoff. Man, I told the coach are. when I talked to him on Saturday, they're, you know, I expect y'all to make some noise because like – I wouldn't want to play them right out the gate coming into the that's playoffs. Right. That's uh, right. Now, did we have – of course, now we're open – this yeah, Friday. Yeah, we get off week this Friday. The top top eight seeds get an off week. So we'll uh, get help through. That'll help us. Right. Uh, I know Big Reggie is he getting is he getting over his injury? Yeah, Reggie's getting better. Um, you know, time is kind of like a sprained ankle with Reggie. Yeah. You know, um, time is what he needs, and uh, giving that you know extra week of off week and rest may you know help him come around. Uh, that's going to be a guy that we're going to need in the in the playoffs. I, I mean, that's a. A, like a wall we can put in the middle, you know. That's so right. Hopefully he gets healed up and uh, he gets better. Uh, D'Antonio Robinson, you know, he got he got a, a injury Friday night and giving him some rest and, um, you know, uh, this off week's going to help him. Maybe you find out, you know, how extensive his injury is. But and Man, we can't afford to. He's one of the best players on the team yeah. especially when it comes to special teams that's right uh, he's, he's our all-around player man he, he is he, he can play any position he I plays all over the field he does he plays offense defense uh just about every special team and y'all have got him now running that counter yeah and you know grady runs it great but i mean it's you, well when you got both of them that's right if y'all would run a little reverse back the other yeah. way every now and then <laughs> yeah. there i am trying to coach <laughs> the option pass <laughs> yeah you know me i like that option <laughs> pass oh but man, like you say, being open, it's going to give us a time, a little bit of time. But I also want to talk the sports talk. Uh, you being the athletic director, mm -hmm. we're going to talk playoff bracket and stuff in just a minute. Okay. And I know you're a coach. The only game you're worried about is the next game. That's right. Uh, yeah. Well, that's that's one thing we do preach. You know. That's, that's right. Um, you know, but that's like why that. I get to look at the bracket and say, "I want yeah. what this. Let's work this yeah. way." <laughs> you know, yeah, and we <laughs> like I say, well, that's what we focus on the next game. You know, that's we we play one game seasons, one at one at a time. Well, man, I and with us, you know, we're known as a football school at Clinch County. Yeah, and uh, last year the basketball team made it they to the did, final four. Did a great job, and Coach the George. baseball team made it to the second round. That's right. Uh, and even the girls' basketball team struggled out of the gate. But there at the end of the year, they won a couple of games in the region playoff. You yeah, know, with yeah, one they game made, short of making the state yeah, playoffs. Yeah, they, they they wound up one game short of making state playoffs. And you know, like you said, we had a you know overall a great year in athletics at, at Clinch County. Um, and that's just I mean, what a lot of people don't know. Your job as athletic director is kind of like being the rec director. 
That's right. You've got to schedule all the games. Make and sure. you got to make sure that you're showing up at the right place That's where right. they're going to eat at. And you get and you have to attend every game as being the athletic director. To attend most of them. You know, sometimes uh, we have conflicts. So, you know, we try to get to – Oh, you got to go to Calhoun and Wilcox. Oh, yeah. yeah. You get to go to all the <laughs> faraway games. Yeah. But um, with basketball, pretty much make it, make all those games. But, um, you know, when you get to spring sports where there's tennis and track and yeah. – and baseball. See, that's, I didn't that's even mention them. Different. You got difficult. tennis track. I mean, that's – Yeah. And with us being a Class A school, we use the same athletes in football that's right. that we and use basketball, basketball and baseball. That's right. And that's what I was wanting to talk to you a little bit about. With us being so good in football, usually making it to the second round, mm-hmm. uh, that – bottlenecks the basketball season up it, it does um coach george um you know he does a great job with with getting his schedule set up right but um you know most people are playing basketball right now there's right. you know they're they're getting ready and having games next week um, but and, now see to me if coach george if we get beat now see we're on the power or they're on the on power, power rankings, rankings. Yeah. and that you know to me that that's unfair for we're well, still playing football, and if we lose, yeah. you know. Well, w- one thing with us, our region has has made an agreement that, you know, if we're in the playoffs, that uh, that we can reschedule the games. And, and that's and, good. And, then. But what that creates is a bottle, like you said, it creates that bottleneck where um, you're playing Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday yeah. in one week. Yeah, you're Man, playing three rough. three and four games a week, and uh, you know, every week. Man, for, that is rough. You know, you take a. a a four month season or a three and a half month season and you and you shrink it down to two months because yeah. of because of playoffs. Man, that is But rough. then, you know, um you know, last year, like I said, you know, Coach George made it to the to the semifinals. Oh, that was exciting, yeah, it was it? a great game and um uh Coach jo- uh Coach Douglas had to do the same thing. He That's had to right. reschedule baseball games That's and right. and worry about baseball because again, you That's know, just some that of his, domino effect yeah. that just keeps some going. Of, some of the basketball players play baseball. And there's one thing I wish that Georgia High School would change, and the state of Florida does it. They do girls softball in the spring. Mm-hmm. And and I don't understand because, you know, football, you got a lot of the cheerleaders mm-hmm. uh, that do it the football games. That's and, right. You know, and they also do basketball. And if you're really good, I think – are they through with girls softball yet? I think yeah. they're uh, – did yeah, they I finally get through? Yeah, I think they're, they, they wound up last weekend, I think, with, well, the, with the playoffs. I think they need to do that. And, uh, that that would be yeah. great. To well, one thing one thing that's ho- that that conflicts with that is the GHSA has um, has slow pitch softball also. Um, I we did not know yeah, that. We don't we don't do it at uh in, in, here in Clinch, but um, they do. They have, they've about two or three years ago they started back slow pitch softball. So girls, girls slow pitch softball. Yep, and it's uh it's held in the spring. Well, I did not know that. Yep. Uh, or is that something that the Panthers will look into doing? I mean, um, well, right now we hadn't looked into doing it, but uh, you know, it's always a always a possibility that you know. Uh, right now we just want to concentrate on fast pitch, right. but that's right. That's something later on that we may, we, you know, we may go to. And I want to give Coach a shout out to Coach uh, Jeremy Edwards. Yeah. He he come in. You know, we wasn't that good last year. I don't think we won two or three games. And he come in and almost finished 500 this year. Yeah, we got he did. a lot of young talent coming they, up on that girls' they softball are. team. They, there are some uh, some good-looking young athletes on the, on the softball team. And and I'll tell you another thing, uh, as far as coaching goes, you, you won't find anybody that works no. harder than Coach Edwards. No, he's out there every day either dragging, mowing, that's spraying. Right. I mean, he, he's he got – he'll keep that field yeah. up. You don't have to worry about yeah, that. Yeah, that's one thing about it. We'll, we'll have a we'll have a nice field. That's, that's like his hobby. That You're exactly right. Well, man, getting – with you being the AD and you have to do all that, and then you got your weight room workout, I mean, your schedule's pretty much booked up, ain't it, Coach? Yeah, uh, it, it's a lot. Of, a lot that goes into a day, but uh, you know, it's all that's all part of it. You know, now, not only that, you're also the at the school, the, the SRO. Yeah, the yeah. SRO at the school, and you teach a class. Yeah. That, so, yeah, yeah. your, your schedule. Yeah, I have I have a busy <laughs> schedule, but you know, some some ads they teach three classes and then have a you know the ad job. So. Um, I, you know, I, I I do just having one that that you know that one class, but um, it it, it can get he- hectic as you as you go through the day. Man, I bet it does. Run out of hours every once in a while. Now I know the football team took Monday off. 
That's right. No, I, I don't know that. I know how Jim usually does. Yeah. He takes Monday off when yeah. you got well, open that, week. Yeah, anytime we got open week, we got Monday a lot and of Friday. Just let them take Monday off and and um, just kind of get their legs back under them, get a little more rest, and then we go through the week. And uh, usually, you know, on Friday we usually take Fridays off, but that's kind of a a wait and see kind of thing. You know, if depends we, how they practice. Yeah, during if we the have week. a if we have a a slow week or we think we need something else to get done. We will come in on Fridays also. Now, will y'all go and scout? I know, man, with the computers now, I can remember back in yeah. the day when we had to go and scout. That's right. And yeah, it wasn't too long ago. <laughs> no, we'd, we'd get about four car. years ago, yeah. you know, we would have to go scout. And, That's right. But yeah. I always enjoyed that because we'd all get to ride in the van yeah. and go eat That's somewhere right. and socialize. And uh, I look forward to that yeah. when I go. Yeah, that's, uh, that, that, that's something that's kind of – Kind of gone away a little That's bit right. as far as as far as coaching because of computers and you know all the technology that you have now and all that kind of stuff. But that is a um, you know something fun that we used to get yeah, to do. Yeah, man, that was that was fun. Well, uh, what we're going to do? We're going to take a quick break. A word from our sponsors, and I'm going to come back and we're going to talk a little bit about the playoffs. Coming back with Coach Peterson. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around, and you can order by mail. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention, from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond, call Gregory or Sharon to schedule Richard's Catering Service or to make a purchase by mail. 912-487-5822. Winky's Southern Styles in Homerville is the go-to place for custom embroidery and vinyl transfer designs. Whether it's t-shirts, caps, or special Christmas items, Winky's will make it happen. Go by our location at 44 East Elna Street in Homerville and see Lenora for embroidery and vinyl transfer. Winky's Southern Styles supports the Panthers in their quest for another state championship. Go Panthers! And we're live back here at Sports Talk right on Creek Box. And I got my good buddy, Coach Winston Peterson, athletic director and defensive coordinator at Clinch County High School. He also goes by the nickname, the long arm of the law, <laughs> as, as Jim that's calls Coach you Coach Dickerson's that's nickname. Right. That's the that's pep right. rally nickname. <laughs> hey, man, and they uh, – Will we – I know the Charlton game, we had a pit rally. And, man, That's I right. used to love them when we do. Now, in the playoffs, in the first – will we have a pit rally then, do you yeah, think? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure we will. Miss um, Kara Goodman, she uh, she, she helps out with her. Job, yeah, she does man. a good job of organizing pit rallies and having that games. That homecoming and, pit rally. I mean, people right. actually get off work to go watch that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it's a great thing to live in this community where, you know, so many people support and – come out and uh, like i say just people coming up showing up to see pep rallies i mean uh it's 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 something special to live in this community man and i want to get to you bringing that up i want to give a shout out to a couple of our buddies and he coached with you last year his father's sick mr That's bill right. hendrix jamie and uh uh big bill's daddy he got sick yesterday but i think yeah, he's mr. Doing, allen. yeah mr allen he works with the county i think he's doing a lot better jamie yeah. called me you know so uh, that's good that's everybody good. we want to send prayers out to mr allen and that's uh, right hope he gets and better I, and gets home soon yeah i tell you what it, it'd be hard to find a better fella than mr allen he he's he somebody is. that would would give you the shirt off his back if he had to you can stop at his house at three o'clock in the morning and knock on the door he's gonna answer that's right <laughs> hey he's i've a good guy. done that before stuck yeah, he's <laughs> hey. a good guy well man i want to go over coach Winston and and I know I ain't gonna put you on the spot. Like, man, do you think this? Is, <laughs> but looking at the bracket, man, I like the bracket we're in. Uh, you know, we're coming out. We're seated number five. That's right. And we're gonna play the winner between Dooley and Tron, which Dooley's twenty first and Tron's twelve in the power rankings. In the power rankings. Yep. Uh, now, them power rankings are they pretty a good 
Is that a good measuring stick, do you think, Winston? I think they are. I mean, uh, when you know, you get 24 schools in, and, uh, you know, there's going to be pretty solid schools. I mean, you look at you, – you know Dooley County. Oh, yeah. Um, and they're at 21. They don't so, start playing football till November a lot right. of times. That's right. <laughs> I mean, so, um, both of those schools are, are, are high-quality schools. Um, they're two different schools. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Tryon is a – is a more uh, you know, wing tee. I, I thought it was a private school, really. Yeah, no, it's a public school, but um, they you know they run like a wing tee sets yeah. and kind of like what we do, more or run oriented team and 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 Dooley, you know, they sometimes they're five wide and they got receivers everywhere. Now um, you being the defensive coordinator, which one do you like to match up against? Uh, do you um, like a a run team? Now Irwin, even though you run the wing tee, man, they. They do a good job of keeping it 50-50 yeah. run and pass, and yeah, that makes do. it hard that on the defense. That makes it a lot harder. Yeah. And, and Irwin, uh, you know, Irwin's real good at getting, right. getting three yards, getting four yards, getting two yards, and, you know, just keeping you off the field. That's right. That's right. Uh, so, uh, you know, as far as – I guess you'd have to go back to what our athletes uh, can do or what our team can do, and I think our team is more suited for stopping the spread offense. No, that's – I think every team but Irwin we uh, face this year has run the spread. Yeah, I, th- I think, um, you know, we were talking about years past. We used to say we were a 5-2 team. That's um, right. We had run we, 5-2 yeah, none this year, I we don't run, think. We run the 5-2 against Irwin. That was the only game this year. Well, now, y'all do slip. I'll sit there. You run a 5-1. Yeah, we you know, will. You'll we will put try those to, down yeah. there every now and then. I'll we'll, pick up on that. Yeah, we'll try to confuse the but offensive line. And Chase is nervous when we run that 5-1. That's right. That, that takes that's away right. the secondary, you take, know, somebody in the secondary. But, man, like you say, we'll be at home. Yeah, And that's now, a good you thing. won't know. That's right. Not this Friday, but uh, Friday week. Mm-hmm. And we won't know whether the game's at 7.30 or 8 till probably the Wednesday of the game. Uh, yeah, one day next week. Um, we'll, we'll have to get the contract set up. Uh, more than likely probably be 7.30. But, now, do uh, both of y'all be... have to agree, or since we're the home team, do we have more pull? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's more of a, you know, kind of a set thing. Games are at 7.30, but if there's some kind of – you know, if they have some kind of difficulty or, you know, something like that, they can't ask to have the game moved Georgia up. Georgia High School stays out of it and says, look, we're going to leave it to y'all, yeah. but don't make us get involved That's in right. that. They, they will get involved, but they'd rather us, That's you know, right. kind of take care of it. And like I say, uh, most of our playoff games have been at 730, um, you know. Um, How many teams are in our region, Coach? Um, overall or in the playoffs? Overall. Um, eight, I believe. And five of and them in the playoffs. Made them into the playoffs. That's got to be the best region representation uh, in Class A. Yeah, there, there's um, you know, and and we got some good teams in the playoffs now. Oh, I mean, that's man. what I was, what I was saying earlier. When you get down to these twenty four teams, it's not, you know, we can overlook this person to see if we, you know, who we're going to play next. Um, you have to go, and I said this earlier, you go week by week. We play one game, and then we get ready for the next game. Man, and somebody posted <clears throat> Saturday. If Wilcox would have beat Axon County, they were right on the bubble of making the playoffs. Uh, I, I think, um, and I may be wrong, I think Wilcox finished up at like 27 or 28. You know, and so, they get they were up 28 to 14. Axon come back and beat them 29, 28 to finish their yeah, year strong. That's right. That program's headed in the right direction. Yeah, uh, yeah we talked about that earlier in the year. They, uh, um, you know, they that coach over there is turn, turning it around. He's he, – He's doing a good job. Well, at the bottom part of that bracket, you got another team from our region, Turner County versus Sly County. That's, That's right. a number 20 against a number 13. The team with Dubai is Mitchell, Mitchell County, County. At they're number the, four. They're the region winner from uh, region one. That's right. So they, they'll get the bye just like we do. Yep. And Sly and Turner, man – Turner's got athletes. Oh yeah, and Turner can uh, Turner can score points. And me and you both know the longer you let Turner hang around. The harder it is to beat them. That's right. They, like I say, um, that you know, uh, I, I know I said this would tell fair, but they got a quarterback that can hurt you with oh, his arm yeah. or his leg. That's right. Um, and I think and they either got one receivers. of them can play with Mitchell. And if that happens, and this is what I'm praying for, brother, I like <laughs> we'll to be play, home for Thanksgiving. Home huh? for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm wanting Mitchell. They're they're the number four seed. Uh, you know, if they win. Uh, the winner between uh, Turner and and Sly, we would have to go to Mitchell, which isn't That's a bad right. ride. It's about two and a half hours. Yeah, it's not very far, but they, yeah, uh, they they would be the home seed if they yeah. if they they win. 
Man, I'm hoping that Mitchell, you know, that they'll just wait till next year to yep. win that game. Uh, looking at the bottom of the bracket, now the only downside I see to that is we do have the number one ranked team yeah, overall in the power rankings, which yeah. is Manchester. Yeah, we, we have Manchester on our side of the bracket. So. And, uh, but now looking at that, and I know you can't comment on that, what I'm seeing on the other side, man, is tradition. You got your Lincoln County, Irwin, Charlton, Commerce, Miller, ECI. That's right. And, and, that's, and even, uh, you know, looking at there, you got Pelham on there. Who's, that's right. I believe Pelham's 9-1 and one or so eight They're and number two. 10 seed. Yeah. You know, so. Uh, uh, and you got Macon County, the team that won state yeah. last Macon's year on that side. Yeah. And they're a high seed also. We so you know not nothing against the other schools, but we are on a good the good side. Yeah, if, I, you know I I heard somebody talking um, that was on a call in show or something, and uh, they were talking about the brackets and mm-hmm. they they were going through some of the. Oh, I the know they're on mad. The other side. And, one yeah. they put clinch. I guarantee yeah. you. Yeah, and <laughs> and there's some there's some good teams. Uh, there's some yeah, good teams on both man. sides. But well, Washington County. I'm just looking. Manchester. You know, two years ago were double A. Washington County was double A. Mm-hmm. Chattahoochee was double A. Marion was double A. Telfair was double A. Here just three years ago, you know, Mitchell County. That since they broke it up, used to be Mitchell Breaker. They yeah, were triple right. A at one time. So we got a bunch of big schools mm-hmm. that that you know that are a lot bigger than we are and got more kids yeah. than we do, uh, but now the tradition is on the other side. I, I'm glad we're away from that. So uh, it looks like we can make a, or we hope that we can you know make, make a deep run, run make that's that right. run, and that, uh, that's what we want to do. And that's it's our, all about being healthy and uh yep. and playing your best at this time of year. Yeah, you know I you know I said earlier we you know we we take it as uh, game by game, but you know one of our goals every year at the beginning of the season is to go you know make it to the dome playing the that's right. Well the uh, the Mercedes Benz dome now. But, yes, and that, I know they're um, excited about that oh, yeah. because you know how many times have we went to the dome? I know yeah, when I, I was, we went five times. Yeah, when, when I know, I was I know at, probably five or six times. Yeah. I mean, it, and you know, and people actually plant. That's their Christmas. Yeah, here yeah, in people. Clinch County, they save all year to go stay at Domney and, and go to the dome and watch two days of football. That's right. That's right. No, Being a I coach, hear. we've done that. That's a job yeah, when you take is, sixty kids. That, to is, the that is a job when you when you got to stay up all night and make sure kids are in the room and and things yeah. like that. Me and Winston was uh, roommate buddies when we would go that's on right. the road and have to spend the night off. And we were. <laughs> hey. Well, Coach Peterson, man, I appreciate you coming here, Creekbox Sports Talk, with me. Yeah, and, uh, mention it. and uh we'll bring you back here in the next week or two, and uh, especially, you know, with basketball coming around the corner, and we'll bring you and Terrence in here and talk no. some more. So we appreciate you coming. And, yeah, I enjoy uh, it. We'll be back. It. We'll be back right after these messages. Thank you, Wendy. Subway, the corner pantry, and the Argyle Food Market are locally owned by Mr. Nick Patel, who thanks the Clinch County Homerville communities for all their support. Subway, located on West Dame Avenue in Homerville, is the go-to place for nutritious, healthy food, and Subway also serves a delicious breakfast each morning. We have catering platters to meet all your tailgating needs. Don't forget to drop by the corner pantry in Homerville in the Argyle Food Market in Argyle and pick up all the items you need at the best discount prices in Clinch County. Nick says, Go Panthers! Homerville Feed and Seed can provide nearly all of your farming related needs including seed, corn, bulk fertilizer, herbicides, insecticides, and a large variety of other farm products. Evelie and Nick want to remind you that you do not have to shop out of town to find the lowest prices. Our prices are as low or lower than any of those out of town companies. Come by and let the friendly staff at Homerville Feed and Seed help you select the farm products you need at the lowest prices around. Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creekbox TV.
Good evening. I'm Alan Hanley. We're here live at Creek Box TV with Sports Talk, and I'm here with my good Gator buddy, Josh Lee. Josh, man, I appreciate you coming. Take the time and be on Sports Talk with us, brother. Yes, sir. Thank you for asking. You know, we had Josh uh, that the week before the Georgia-Florida game, and me and Josh picked them Gators, baby, to win just because we're Gator fans. Thankful, <laughs> I guess. We, uh, yeah. we stuck with them. Uh, we did, and uh, and had little Alan on there, and uh, – Last week, I brought little Alan back to the first sports talk so I could let him gloat a little bit. No, he didn't do me too bad, you well, know. That, that's good. We, been, <laughs> hey, they've been pretty easy on us considering. They, no. they have. Uh, you know, and, and that's why I wanted you here tonight. We're going to talk a little bit of college football. Okay. We just talked some high school with uh, Coach Winston. And uh, now, man, if, if you like college football, this is the biggest weekend so far of the year to me. We got a lot of good games to just sit at the house with that remote and, and not keep leave. Turning. That, yeah. That's what I plan to do Saturday. That'll be nice. Uh, but, man, the Georgia-Florida game, the, leading up to that, uh, I thought we would come out and play harder, Josh. I was shocked at the way. And Georgia's good. I'm not taking nothing oh, yeah, away. But, yeah. but Florida just quit in the first quarter. Yeah, I think the coaching issue – presented a bigger challenge than we were aware of. Right. I mean, I think he was gone before the game ever took place. I but, think uh, you're right. Bro. Definitely got to give all the credit to Georgia. I mean, yeah, they, they yeah, came out man, and just they, their defense swarmed us. Yeah, I, yeah, you know, when I you was, get hit like that, you, you'll you quit. Yeah, you <laughs> think about it a little bit. And, <laughs> That's uh, right. Their defense just looked like a Florida defense. Bad, the way they, they swarmed did. to the ball and just, man, three turnovers and it, it was quick. And see, I gone. thought that's what would keep us in the game. I, I thought our too. defense, yeah, we've we got couldn't. a couple of back to help them. Yeah. And uh, – Man, just we just – We was, couldn't stop them. No, no, we couldn't. And, and, man, they put a beat down on the Gators that we hadn't been beat that bad since Herschel Walker. It's that been, long. Yeah, it's been that long. I knew it was bad. Actually, first game in a while that, you know, I hadn't been to. But, actually, second half, I, I really didn't watch much of man, it. I mean, there was, no, there was mu you know, not much to leave? watch. Did you leave? Did you leave Well, we, we didn't go to the game. We stayed and we went and watched around there at Brett's. And, you know, there's 20 well, or man, 30 people. They was – the only Gators left was Ashton <laughs> and Brian Coleman. That's because they <laughs> rode down there with a bunch of Bulldogs. They didn't have no choice they, they to leave. They didn't have no choice Man, but to stay. Was <laughs> but there wasn't many Gators left when Georgia scored in the third quarter. Which may be a good thing. We, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, we didn't see it. Uh, they were gone. I know Allen said on last week that uh, Kirby Smart wanted to empty the stadium. And, and, he, and he did. I he mean, did. He, he sure enough emptied it. Now, let me ask you, uh, getting back to Florida, they fired their coach. There's a buyout, you know, me and you talked about I've heard six, you said four million. But now he had thirteen point like nine million yeah, that was, Florida actually owes him, doesn't he? It was guys? close to it was close to thirteen, I think twelve five, twelve seven, somewhere in that area, but they're trying to get out of it by firing him with calls due to the threat or you know, his he said there was death threats made to him. Actually, well now the university couldn't find none of that. No, they didn't prove no, none of that. Been that. Public, you know, searched emails, records and all mm -hmm. that. Nothing's been found but now, I think, looking back at that, he thought that might would fire the team up. Is that what you think? I, I think he tried to rally the troops, and it just backfired. And, and honestly, watching him the last couple of games, been down to Gainesville on the sideline, he's not he's not into it. He's not motivated. No, man. I think it like may be a day between him and Kirby Smart. Oh, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. It you is know, for sure. Spurrier yeah. was one, you know. He, boy, no, he, he was third advisor. Oh, I mean, man. I, actually, earlier I was going to ask little Winston. I went to the Charlton game, clinch up. Homerville's got a little coach on the sideline through a visor. I seen yeah, a time or two. That's right. Not that's sure right. he was, but he he, uh, he got fired up. I think that was Chase Daniels, and he's well, a big Alabama yeah, fan. Yeah, he was I one think. of them throwing a visor for sure. But, <laughs> but uh, man, looking up, and you know, I'm I've got I'm in that SEC thing with the Gators, just like I know you are. That's right. And they've had man everybody from Pat Dye to Steve Spurrier <laughs> coming back to coach the Gators. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what what do you think? I mean, Josh. I man, mean, I I hope they had their eyes set on somebody, let him go when they did, and you know they're moving towards getting him. Yeah, in I'm as glad soon they went possible. ahead and done that. So we're, we're the first team to say, hey, to look, enter the we're race. looking for. That's know, right. Oh yeah. And definitely. Florida's a university you wanna you wanna coach. Oh, at. it's premier job for sure. Top five in the country. That's right. You know, assume I know our facilities have fallen behind. Yeah. And uh, but they've made a big commitment towards getting those back up mm -hmm. and you know on par with everyone else. So it should be good. But I feel like they're gonna move towards the coach. At Central Florida. Uh, Scott Frost is his name, but he played quarterback at Nebraska. That's right. He's from Nebraska. Nebraska's probably going to be looking for a coach. That's so right. 
we're going to be battling Nebraska, you know, possibly. Do you think uh, he would choose Florida over Nebraska, Josh? I, w- I would think so just due to the fact his offense is more of a spread type offense. I know y'all talked earlier mm-hmm. in the high school, every team we face That's but right, one yeah. runs a spread, same That's way right. in Florida. 90% right. of your high school teams run a spread. Well, We've we, won every national championship we've the spread. won. has been with yeah. the spread back to and Spurrier. That's right. You know, and so now I mean, we, we want to run a pro style, which, you know. That, and so. see, I was against that to begin. We didn't have the athlete. No. Even when Muschamp Talent. come in, I think we got rid of Muschamp a year too early. Yeah, back yeah. Because he's doing a great he job is, at yeah. South Carolina. He's, you know, I'm, I, we're kind of regretting that decision, seeing yeah, him leave. Man, he's doing you know, a fair job. They even yeah. had it on there that they might offer him the job back. Yeah. I don't think Muschamp <laughs> would come no, back. No, he wouldn't come back, I don't believe. But – uh. And they you know, played that games this close. week. Yeah, they sure did. It surprised me. Oh. Uh, first quarter, they hung in there, and then they even showed some fight on into the second half. Georgia just a better team. Man. I mean, well, Georgia's like doing say, there. Frost, and then the guy from uh, Memphis. Yeah, uh, Mike Norville. He's, uh, his name's been brought up a lot. Matt Campbell from Iowa State. His name's been brought up. Dan Mullen. I know yeah. a lot of people see, want to see him back in there. To mean you were talking earlier. but Which it's uh, – he, the athletic director at Florida now was at Mississippi, Mississippi State That's and had right. a relationship with Dan Mullen previously. Mm-hmm. That could come into play. You know, it could be a positive, could be a negative. That, yeah, you know, we don't know right. how that relationship right. went. So. Well, I know him and Tebow still have a good, strong relationship. Oh, so, yeah. You know, uh, yeah. Man, he, if you can get Tebow on the sideline, yeah. that's your best recruit. Yeah, if he, could, got. if he could bring Tebow in to be some kind of coach, I think oh, you know, it would be that, huge. That's but, what I'd love to see. Uh, now, how long do you think before George, uh, Florida – you think if they'll go the rest of the year? I mean, I, you got a lot of people still coaching, so they can't commit. That's right. Yeah. Do you think uh, they already got their coach hired? I think they already got their guy pegged, and I think you know under the table everything's been kind of worked out. We see them move quickly when the season comes to an end, and you know you kind of got to hope whoever they're going after. You know you don't want them to see them their season derail, but if they get a big bowl game, he may choose to stay on and coach his team through the bowl game, which will That's put right. Florida That's further right. behind eight ball recruiting. You know, Kirby so, did that at Georgia. Yeah, he you know, stayed when he on. Left, he stayed on all the way to the national championship game, and then left. And then come that. into Georgia, which he come into a different situation. You're gonna see at Florida, Mark Rick. He had, he oh had, yeah, they had won nine yeah, games. Yeah, he had a know. program built, and Kirby was you know able to build on top of that. He definitely took him to a different level. But I think Florida's looking at somewhat of a, you know, completely down to the studs rebuilding job. You yeah, kind of. So well, man, yeah. I want to go over some games that's gonna play Saturday. Just give you. Some that I jotted down, man. Uh, this could be an interesting game because it's a seven o'clock game. Alabama at Mississippi State, and I don't know none of the spreads. You're usually good on the spreads. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm sure it's seventeen and a half, eighteen points. You know. I'm not sure. And really Alabama, looked at uh, LSU, Alabama didn't cover the spread against. No, LSU, they didn't. You know. No, LSU actually came out and played a real good game. Man, uh, they did. I think they if did. they'd had a quarterback, you may have seen an upset. Man, I mean, you sure had. It was sure looking like that. Now, the Alabama-Mississippi State game is, you know, I think it's in Starkville. It is, which, and that's at 7 o'clock at night, so they'll so have their help. cowbells, yeah. you know. Ringing. Going, that's right. They'll they'll but, be uh, on. And then the big game for all the dog fans, you got Georgia at Auburn at 3.30. Yeah, now that's that's going to be a game I'm really interested to watch. Uh, see, it could be go both either way. I know the line opened up actually is Auburn as a one-and-a-half, two-point favorite. Is that right? The last time I checked it, it's actually flopped, and now it's Georgia minus three. So there's been some big money being coming in on what, Georgia. Uh, that Auburn coach better win. Yeah. If he doesn't win against Georgia, he's, he's got, better beat Alabama. And he's got Alabama coming up, I guess, the oh, following there'll week. There'll be another or, vacant job yeah, available. Yeah, you'll see another coaching search come up. Man, and I'm going to watch that game and them the first two. And, man, another great game is Notre Dame at Miami at 8 o'clock. And I hope Miami wins. Now, that game's – where's it at? I'm, it's in Miami. It's in Miami. Yep. Okay, yeah, that uh, – I think we've got to see a lot of people get on the Miami man and yeah, Miami and train because of Mark Rick. Yeah, That's he's done a great I, job. Yeah, man. man, he's a good fella. And people's been calling for him to lose past couple weeks, and they have got by a little. You know, some was close you shocked plays. at the BCS that come out last Tuesday when Georgia I, jumped? Yeah, I was. But then when you go back and look, you know, Georgia's record it speaks for itself. That's you know, right. Their, their best win is that's right. It's I better still than anybody. They got Notre Dame ranked too high. I don't yeah, think Notre yeah, Dame Notre Dame, no, but they are. We'll see this weekend. That'll, that, that'll short that up. And that's I what everybody think, says. You know, let it play out. Yeah, but Miami, yeah. you got. I think Miami ought to be up there at number five. Yeah. Oklahoma. Yeah, they give up Miami. fifty-eight last mm-hmm. week. 
Yeah, and you got Notre Dame's going to be in the top four now, and Clemson, I assume. Yeah, Georgia, that, Alabama, Notre Dame, Clemson, that's maybe your four. It comes on tonight. Probably comes so out at not, seven, I think. Yep. So maybe, but uh, uh, and I think there'll be some right. shake up this weekend of that. I, One I thing about it, the Big Twelve or the Ohio State in that mm-hmm. conference, they they've seen their way out. Yeah, I think. That, yeah. Now I so still that, think there's if if Michigan State can win out and win, they could be a two loss team that might could slip in. Yeah, if they Clemson gotta, loses and Notre Dame loses, you know. And, and that's a uh, good possibility for the uh, rest of the game. So, South Carolina and Clemson game is going to be a very good game later on in the year. Oh, that's uh, right. Look in here. You got Oklahoma. TCU goes to Oklahoma. That's an eight that's a night game. Mm-hmm. That, 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 that's yeah. going to be a 100 to 99 game. <laughs> yeah, there'll be a lot of points scored now when they take over in that game for sure. That's exactly uh, right. But, and, man, I think this one could be a big upset here. Because FSU has nothing to play for. No, they're they're about like Florida. Actually, watching FSU last week, they showed some life. Looked a lot better than Florida did. Man, uh, they did. They and could uh, get this thing turned around. I seen Jimbo Fisher's name thrown into the coaching search I at a couple too, schools. But uh, man, that would be interesting to see. That's the buyout on that would have to be about twenty million dollars. I actually he think just it's, renewed his contract yeah, last year. I think. I actually think he? it's forty million. So <sighs> man, you're probably you know, not going to see him about, go anywhere. Why did they fire him? Well, you're paying these coaches a lot of money. Yeah, and you, you expect know. you expect to win. And all that comes from saving and Spurrier. You know, when you yeah. win and you dominate, you know, the the NFL comes calling. And the money keeps. The money just keeps coming and keeps coming. And it's going <clears> to <throat> be a coach's market, too, with all the jobs open. Tennessee, Texas A&M, Florida. Um, let's see. There's and you've got Arkansas. T- yeah, Arkansas is going to probably come open. Nebraska is going to come open. There's going to be yeah, that's gonna be a five or six domino. big, big jobs. That's why I'm glad Florida went ahead and got in we, early. we got out, you know, got our, threw our hat out there to all the good coaches. And, man, what's good about FSU Clemson is FSU goes, uh, you know, that's the only bad thing. They've got to go to Clemson. Yeah. But it's a 3-30 game. It's not a night yeah. game. A night game at Clemson, is man, yeah, about is unreal. A, yeah, it's better about <laughs> unbeatable at home. <laughs> Uh, I, I mean, maybe FSU can come in and give them a game. I mean, yeah. Clemson, that looked all that, you know, they won, but the last couple of weeks have kind of looked shaky. Sloppy. That's right. They played Florida sloppy. State, Florida State's definitely got the talent to play with anybody yeah. in the country. I, I so. didn't think Florida State, with them losing their quarterback, would affect them like the way it mm-hmm. has. I mean, that, I didn't either, no. Uh, uh, Jimbo Fisher, say what you want to say about him. He's an excellent quarterback coach. He, that's right. And, that's uh, right. I thought they would have somebody prepared to back up you know, the guy that but went man, down. But, man, I thought but FSU's strength was going to be their defense coming into the season, and it's just it's yeah, kind of like you, Florida, once they got beat by Alabama and he got hurt, it's like the wind just, you know. That's right, man, come up, we're, up we're, under sails. Uh, the first game against Alabama, their defense looked, looked I mean, pretty good. I mean, they yeah, held Alabama, what, 21 right. points or something? Yeah, so yeah. They've got to, you know, they have a good game coming, and like you said, it may be Saturday. Saturday so. Man, and – this is going to be an interesting game. Wisconsin is finally going to play somebody. Yeah, they're playing Iowa that beat yeah. Ohio State fifty-five that's to right. twenty-seven. They stormed the field and <laughs> man tore and the they goalpost sh- down. That surprised me. Man, I, mean, I was you know, shocked. I, you know, especially man. after Ohio State coming off that big win. Yeah, with just, Penn State, and I said, "Well, Irvin's got, got them ready. Got know. them. All yeah, they got to do is win hitting out. on eight cylinders. I yeah. mean, you know, you always pencil Ohio State in, but now they." Like you man, said, walked their way out of it. I would just, you know, they just – that was the worst beating I think Myers had since Clemson put it on him. I, uh, yeah, I, I can't think of another time he's been beat that bad. Uh, and, man, what's bad is he could lose was, again this week because it's Ohio State versus Michigan, Michigan State. State. And that game's and in Ohio State. And that game's probably going to be an early game now. Yeah, it's 12 dude. o'clock. Yeah, that's so 12 that's o'clock prime game. upset time. Yeah, man, uh, I hate 12 o'clock games. Yeah, it's hard to get too. up for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, Florida had to play 11 o'clock game at Missouri. <laughs> Man, I don't know what the hell with that. <laughs> and uh, who do we have this week, Florida? South Carolina. South Carolina. Yeah. And actually, Muschamp's been very positive speaking through the media. He said nothing but great times he had at Florida and paid all respect yeah. to him. You know, as you expect that's, him to. That's right. That's but right. Uh, he's actually done it. And that game's at South Carolina. You ain't going? Uh, Oh, no, no. I that's that's <laughs> a good ride. I mean, I don't even, that'll probably be on the SEC network. Nobody else will care. It. I hope that thing's on what they call pay per view. You yeah, need to find right. that one. Cause, man, South Carolina, like you said, they play Georgia tough. He's got them, he's got them going he's in the right direction. He's got him quarterback. Yeah, and that's he's right. young and he's done. And that's what's th- impressed me. You know, when Spurrier left, I mean, there wasn't much left there. That's why Spurrier no, kind of got out. I right. mean, in the middle of the season. 
But Muschamp come in and did a great recruiting job. Yeah, he did. Yeah, you know, he finished in the top yeah. twenty mm-hmm. last year, and, and I mean, it's excellent recruiting, headed in yeah. the right direction. Yeah, and you're talking about the quarterback play. That's that's just so big on all these teams. That's I mean, right. You look back. That's Florida's biggest problem, missing on the quarterback. Like you said, Florida State and Muschamp learned team. that I think when he was in Florida. Yeah, I think you he, know, did. he said, "Look, man, that, that was his downside, man." But we've been winning with Muschamp's players. On defense. On defense mm-hmm. the That's last right. three years. Yeah. Uh, Florida's, you know, locker rooms, you know, it, there's some good players on there, though, oh, especially yeah. on the offense side That's of the right. ball. It's just it's going to take, Man, take a good coach. You get the right out. guy in there and they'll turn, turn around, around quick. You know? will. I mean, yeah. it, 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 it won't take long. The last game that's going to be a good game, it's a 12 o'clock game, too, is Oklahoma State and Iowa State. And that was one of the coaches yeah. that, you know, uh, we were talking about. The Campbell coach, coach the at Campbell. Iowa State. He's actually won – Beating two top five teams in the last five, six weeks with a backup quarterback. We're talking about quarterback play. Yeah. This guy lost his starting quarterback, starting a walk on. Nobody knew his name on the team except his family. <laughs> and he is, uh, like I said, two top five wins. And, you know, he's know got him. He lost last up week, up you know. Twice. On yeah. On yeah. Saturday, I know. I he's, uh, but now I started picking him. He's, <laughs> he's a good coach. Uh, and, name you know, to watch. some of them have, uh, but, getting back to the Gators, the Oklahoma State coach. old uh, Yeah, Mike Gundy. I'd Mike love to Gundy. see him make a run at him. Did he ever cut his mullet? I think no, he had a mullet. Man, man. He, that's the only thing, man. It'd be a hard that. sell at Florida <laughs> yeah, if he'd come in there mullet. with that. But uh, the Iowa State coach's buyout is what we were talking about earlier. That's it's right. it's nine, nine million, I think. So, yeah, it's going to be a hard, you know, and it's what, be hard what, to get him. what Josh is talking about when they have a buyout, Man, that's where these coaches, you know, we're still actually, Florida's still paying much Must champ. Yeah. Now and McElwain. Now McElwain, yeah. and now you got to pay a new coach to come in, yeah. which will cost you at least 20 meat. Yeah, it's, it's going to get, you know. get pricey. But so, uh, hopefully they open the checkbook up and get the right guy, and we see Florida back where, where we used to seeing them. That's you right. Know. You know, we went so many years with Spurrier, and then we had that little hiccup after Spurrier. Yeah, you had, uh, what, Ron Zook come Ron in there? Ron Zook come in mm-hmm. and for three years, and then we got, Meyer, Urban, and, it and was just, man, it went, you know, man, it the, was some great gold years. days. That's <laughs> right, that's right. And, uh, Florida can get back there, but listing all them games we just talked about, it's going to be a Saturday just set on the couch. And watch football. So you I better mean, have the grass yeah, mowed all, and all man. them honeydews done. Yeah, I actually got a <laughs> – my wife's birthday is this weekend. So oh, you're going to miss it. won't be TV <laughs> for me. Maybe uh, I can sneak them in somehow. We'll <laughs> yeah, get by. You but, go uh, at, well, you like me, you'll have that phone. It'll be sending you Yeah, that oh, yeah, you get your updates to be able to watch them. Uh, luckily, don't even really want to watch Florida. So. Well, man, <laughs> I want to appreciate Josh coming on here and uh, Sports Talk, Josh, and I'm going to bring you back, man, because – you're one of my college football gurus. You know all the names and keep and we'll, up with it, man. We'll and I appreciate yes, you taking the time. I enjoy it. To we come will. and uh, and uh, while I've got you here, I want to thank all our sponsors because none of this would be possible without our sponsors. And if anybody's interested in sponsoring uh, Sports Talk or Creek Box, the games, the playoffs is fixing to start. And, uh, it costs a little bit more money in the playoffs time. Georgia mm-hmm. High School charges a little, not just a little bit, a lot more to mm-hmm. just – uh, put the game on so you can sit at the house and watch it. Yep. So if anybody's interested in doing that, get a hold of Mr. Berrien or me, myself, uh, somebody we can hook you up. But uh, we want to thank Lenore at Winkies, uh, uh, One Trip, Mr. Mike, uh, Carter's Fried Chicken, Chad Brown, the Dairy Queen of Homerville, Blackshear and Folkestone, Mr. Ash, and also, Mr. Ash does Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen. I tell you, without Mr. Ash, Homerville would be hurt. <laughs> he wouldn't be eating. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And then Mr. Nick over there at the Subway, the Corner Pantry, and the Argyle Food Mark. Uh, the Car Company, Nick. Uh, Huddle House of Homerville and Lakeland. And your daddy, Lee Engineering and Construction Company. You know, it takes a lot to get Kenneth right Oh, here. yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, to see But now you. tell him the playoffs is coming. coming. We need yes, another sir. check now. And uh, <laughs> act, the, these advertisements, man, you'd be amazed at some of the people I have tell me that watch this creek box. You know, it just, you know, I mean, you're surprised. My father-in-law lives in Milledgeville, mm-hmm. and you know, he just—I told him about it. Watch the games on. He watches it all the time now. And uh, I mean, well, just we had at two, work. You bring always, that up. We had two people today at the election stop over. They said, "Man, can you tell us how to get to Lee Engineer?" And that's, I said, "Just go your ten miles <laughs> yeah, straight the, there." And they right. watch Creek Park, yeah, oh, yeah, so yeah. they knew they were close. You know, that's right. They were going to get with somebody. I guess your daddy's bidding a job yeah, somewhere. They, they were looking for your daddy. But uh, uh, definitely, you can get you know some. Great venue to get your Man, product, business, whatever. Nothing but good feedback from all these. And, right. and 
these sponsors that I mentioned here have made this possible. We got Lutz Brown Pigler and Manley, that's Eric and Jeff. Camping World of Valosta, that's my daughter. You can get a hold of Skylar. Miss Evelie Lee at Feed and Seed. Y'all, deer season, go up there and get you some get corn you to corn. throw out. And Jerry Jays uh, here in Homerville. So uh, I'm Alan Hanley and here with Josh Lee, and I appreciate y'all watching Sports Talk, and we'll see you next week. Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creek Box TV. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Save money? Drive better when you buy a car or truck from the car company in Homerville. We have a variety of vehicles to choose from and you will not find a better deal anywhere. If you need financing, the car company finances. If we don't have the vehicle you're looking for, we will find it for you. Call Kenny or Chip to discuss your vehicle needs today. Remember, when you buy a car from the car company in Homerville, you will save money and drive better. Go Panthers! Carter's Fried Chicken in Homerville has become the gold standard for fried chicken barbecue and catering. Carter's also offers a full menu of other tasty items and is open on Sunday. Thanks Chad Brown for making dining at Carter's a family tradition in Homerville. Go Panthers! Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creek Box TV. Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creek Box TV. Powerhouse Outdoor Equipment at 1122 Bowens Mill Road in Douglas, Georgia is the place to go for all of your outdoor power needs. Whether it's commercial or residential mowers, lawn care equipment, recreational vehicles, or equipment repairs, see Kurt Malcolm at Powerhouse Outdoor Equipment, Douglas, Georgia. Huddle up. That's right. Huddle up at the Huddle House in Homerville in Lakeland before or after the game. And if you can't make it to the game, watch all the live action here at the Huddle House. Remember, Huddle Houses of Homerville and Lakeland have a full menu with something for everyone with prices that can't be beat. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, 24 hours per day, Huddle House is a game-winning recipe for the entire family. Go Clinch County Panthers. Go Lanier County Bulldogs. And don't forget, huddle up at the Huddle House. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Jerry J's has the best Boston butts and ribs around. Meat so tender and tasty that it practically melts in your mouth. We have a variety of home-cooked meals and the best breakfast in town. And don't forget about our barbecue sandwiches. 
Jerry J's can cater your event and looks forward to serving you in Homerville, Waycross, and Douglas. Oh yeah, if you can't make it to the game, drop by Jerry J's in Homerville to watch the game live on Creekbox TV while you enjoy one of the many items on our menu. Go Panthers! Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. Jeff Brown and Eric Lutz make it a priority to know their clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. They offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creek Box TV.